Bitcoin is trading at $75,000. Donald Trump won the election and he's going to be the US president, the 47th president of the USA for the next four years. And as we clearly saw yesterday with that result came a sense of euphoria in the markets because everything pumped. The, the US stock markets pumped, crypto pumped. And I think there's this general kind of consensus amongst investors and traders that uh, Donald Trump being president is going to be good for the economy. It's going to be good for the stock markets. And that is why everyone is uh, just buying uh, basically everything and everything is just pumping. So in this video, I want to do a bit of a bigger picture update, but also a bit of a short term warning, because in the short term, we might have a bit of euphoria that might see a little bit of a pullback before we can potentially continue higher. So grab your favorite beverage. Let's dive in real quick. Before I start today's content, guys, I am doubling the price of my VIP membership on December 3rd, 2024. So that's in less than a month from now, the prices double. Right now, you can still get in for that 50% discount compared to what it's going to be. You get access to the most amount of bonuses and features that I've ever created. It's all part of my VIP and it is risk free for 60 days. The link is in the description down below. Sign up, come and see for yourself. If you're not happy, you can get a full refund, but the price doubles next month. So I would take advantage of joining us for navigating the rest of this market. I provide daily analysis, updates, real time trade ideas and much more inside a VIP. So the link is in the description down below. Come and join us. Okay, so let's start out by looking at this. This is a weekly chart of Bitcoin. It is a log scale. So it gives you a nice visual representation since uh, 2012 for Bitcoin. The vertical lines are the Bitcoin halvings. We have only had four of them. They happen every four years. As you can see, there's a very clear pattern with the red circles as the year leading up to the Bitcoin halvings. That is when price starts to grind up. We get the halving and then price starts to pump and we get a crypto bull markets in the 12 to 18 months following the halving. That has been the case for the past 12 years, every single crypto bull market. And so far up to this point, that same pattern is still repeating. As you can see, we started a run up about a year before the halving in about January of 2023, we turned into a higher time frame bullish trend. We ran up from that level in, in January, about 20,000 all the way up to almost $70,000 by the halving, which is a crazy pump. Then we had the halving and we had a multi month correction, which is completely normal. If you dive into the analysis and you go and look what happened in the previous cycles, we had about a six month period after each halving where the price traded pretty much sideways and altcoins were pretty much dead. And then in the last six months of that 12 months after the halving, everything started to get pretty exciting. Pretty much around this time also, after the US elections, towards Q4 of the year, and things just really started to pump. So that still seems to be the case. And if that pattern is going to continue to play out, then we could see a massive crypto bull market that continues into March or April of 2025. That would be 12 months after the most recent halving, which was in April of this year. Now, as you can see on the chart, or as you may know already, those last months of the crypto cycle are when the prices really start to pump. That is when things start to explode, when things go parabolic. What's also interesting to note is we are now at new all time highs. We're basically in price discovery. So this is basically what happened last cycle in November, December of 2020. Once we broke the previous high, look how quickly everything accelerated. And we're at that point right now. We've broken previous all time highs for real this time at this point in time. And that means we might be about to see the largest parabolic phase of the cycle where Bitcoin goes nuts and maybe Bitcoin runs to 100,000. Maybe, maybe it goes crazy. Who knows? Maybe it goes to 120, maybe it goes to 150,000. And in those last couple of months of the cycle, even the last few weeks of that 12 months after the halving, we could see altcoins go absolutely nuts too, which means that the gains that we've been waiting for, the bull market that we've been waiting for could be about to happen in the next several months, if not several weeks. And quite simply here, as long as the price is above the 50 week moving average, which at this point is 
the high time frame trend is bullish, the seasonality is bullish, the timing after the halving window is bullish. So the best bet based on those probabilities is to be long and to try and ride this bull up as much as possible. And then of course, have an exit strategy guys, have a plan to get out of the markets because once the cycle tops, whenever that's gonna be, whether that's in January, whether it's in March, whether it's November of next year, once the cycle peaks, everything comes back down and prices drop a lot. Altcoins drop 80%, 90%, even more than that from their peak. So it's very important to be positioned now before everything pumps, then take profits, get out of the market before it all peaks and dumps again. Now a quick look at Ethereum, which has had a nice pump yesterday. We're at $2,800 for Ethereum. And you can see this is a very important level right here, about $2,900 because it is this previous support that is now resistance as well as confluence with the 50 week moving average. If the price of Ethereum can get a weekly close above $2,900, I think the target very likely becomes the $4,000 level right about over there and then maybe even the previous all time high. So what we're looking for here is for us to get a close above here and then we're looking for target one, $4,000, and target two is the previous all-time highs at just under $4,900 for Ethereum. Now, as exciting as all of this is right now, Trump won, Bitcoin is at new all-time highs, the market is pumping, Ethereum is pumping. Quick warning in the short term, the fear and greed index is right now at extreme greed. We actually had this last week when Bitcoin was trying to break the previous all-time high. We were just shy of $74,000 and we got a pullback to $68,000. That is almost a 10% pullback. Usually what happens, it's not 100% guaranteed, but when you see extreme greed readings on this fear and greed index, a lot of the time, that is very close to a pullback. It typically does not stay at extreme greed for more than a couple of days, sometimes even only one day before we get a bit of a pullback. Also, if you head over to the Bitcoin liquidation map, this is free by the way on coinglass.com, you can see over here that if we were to drop back to just $72,000, which is only a $3,000 drop, there would be three and a half billion dollars of leveraged longs that get liquidated. So that means there is a lot of people betting on Bitcoin to continue higher with leverage, which means that a lot of the time, the market tends to just flush down and liquidate those people to punish them for being late in, in longing this. There's a lot of people, of course, who were waiting for the decision of the election. Maybe they waited until the decision was final or close to final when the price was already in 73, 74, 75,000 before leverage longing Bitcoin, hoping for that continuation. Okay, Trump won now, we're at new all time highs or close to it, and we're probably going to 100K. So a lot of people are betting on that. That's kind of their thought process, in my opinion, anyways. And that means that when everyone is at extreme grade, everyone is betting at the breakout, tend to get a little pullback, right? Could be $3,000, could be four or $5,000, maybe back to the monthly open, which is about $70,000, a quick flush. And then I believe after we get that, we see a continuation and hopefully a run up starting towards $85,000 or $95,000 over the next several weeks. So going back to the weekly chart over here, what I mean is we had this breakout over here. As you can see over here, we had this uh, bull flag uh, breakout to the upside, it is not impossible for us to come back and test the breakout level, which is right around over here at 69 or 70,000. So what if we have a wick down, pull back up and then continue higher like that, that would exactly liquidate uh, almost $4 billion in leverage longs, it would probably flush the extreme greed reading and then we can continue higher. So there's no guarantee we do get this pullback, but these factors, the extreme greed reading, the huge amount of leverage long sitting at that level, this probably makes sense. Um, so that means if we do get this pullback, that's the level I'd be looking at for a potential long somewhere around in the 70,000, maybe 69,000, somewhere around there. 
pretty tight stop we'll be able to see on the shorter time frames and of course i will share that in my vip discord in real time so if you're not yet a member come and join the link is in the description down below we're looking for something like this as a swing long if we get a pullback to maybe seventy thousand or sixty nine thousand and then hopefully for a run to a hundred thousand and beyond and then of course on that pullback maybe we see a bit of a pullback in altcoins maybe not too much because they're they're already kind of low but maybe we do and that'll be the point in my opinion to look for longs swing longs even low leverage longs on altcoins so this is the update overall very bullish with trump winning the seasonality all of that stuff in my opinion i think we go a bunch higher in the coming months and weeks but in the very short term i'm talking about the next couple of days we could still see a pullback to maybe seventy thousand or sixty nine thousand and that would in my opinion then be a place to look for longs on Bitcoin and altcoins.